Good afternoon from my study in London. It's a real treat to be able to introduce you to some of the Tuscan wines of Gaia. And lots of you may know that Gaia is the foremost producer of wines from northern Italy in Piemonte. They make some of the best Barolos and Barbarescos in the world. Um, but Carmacanda, from which Magari and Carmacanda come from, um, is their Bulgari uh, estate in Tuscany, which Angelo Gaia bought in about 1996. And they made their first wines in the year 2000. Um, essentially, their aim was to make the best Bordeaux blends or Super Tuscan wines in Tuscany using Gaia's you know, decades, decades long experience and know how. Um, the soils for both wines uh, are clay, limestone and uh, stony soils, which are great for, for drainage and vine growth. And I thought I'd start by doing a tasting note for Magari, which is the 2018 offering. Um, this is the wine which Antonio Galloni of Venice awarded 94 points and he said quite simply the 2018 Magari is one of the classiest wines I can remember tasting for Kamakanda. Um, I agree totally this is a wonderful wine it's got a fantastic vibrancy to its colour if you can see that but a really wonderful intensity. Now uh, on the nose the first thing you get is just how, how elegant and fresh this wine is in the 2018 vintage. There are notes of blackcurrant, blackberry, eucalyptus, pepper, incense, a bit of juniper berry in there as well. Leather, damson and some black plum. Really unctuous, rich, ripe fruits, but incredible freshness coming through as well. On the palate. This is the wine that my partner and I have coravined, if that's a verb for the last few weeks and not a single glass has let us down. We love it to bits, this one, and we bought some. Um, and on the palate, that minerality and freshness comes through. It's so mouthwatering. It's still persisting. There's that wonderful black fruit, there's blackberry, there's black currant, um, there's some of the black cherry, there's some licorice coming through, some cedar wood that you don't quite get on the nose, but you do get on the palate. Um, and the tannins are really finely boned. Um, they are there, but they're really well integrated but it's the persistent length and minerality and freshness of this wine, I think, which makes it incredibly elegant and finessed. And, and I absolutely love it. And we're selling it for £240 um, for six bottles, although it is also available in, in larger formats. Um, but I think when you compare it to some of the, the prices of some of the other um, Super Tuscan producers, um, it really is a finished bargain. Um, I'll move on now to Karmakanda, which is this wonderful wine. It's the top of their, of their Tuscan range. And this is a 2017 vintage. Uh, Antonio Galli gave it 95 plus points. Uh, and he said, um, the 2017 offers plenty of voluptuousness, but with no excess weight, I loved it. Uh, it's hard to disagree. It's a fantastic wine. Uh, made using that classic right bank Bordeaux blend of Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, and once this is aged, it's aged for 12 months in oak as the Magari is. But in addition to the 12 months in oak, it then spends six months in concrete vessels um, just to develop a bit more before it has time to age in bottle. The vintage itself was, you know, a very low quantity vintage 2017, but incredibly high quality. Um, and I'll give you a tasting note of the wine. Again, lovely, intense colour to the wine. And on the nose... It's a really intoxicating bouquet and lots of wine critics say that a lot, but intoxicating, but it really is. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, unfurling bouquet of licorice. There's violet, which you expect more with a northern Italian wine, a Piemontese wine. Classics or sort of, um, Bordeaux, cassis, white pepper, black pepper, incense. Then there's a bit of hint of Mediterranean scrub, Mediterranean dry Mediterranean herbs, some tobacco leaf. A incredibly rich wine. It's so sure and confident. Uh, and I just know this is going to age incredibly well. On the palate. The fruit is incredibly ripe. That's the first thing you, you know when you taste it. There are, the currants are there, black currants, red currants. The violet comes through. There's some um, black cherry. Almost like the hint of black olive in there coming through as well. Savoury note. There's intensity, it's an intense wine. Firm structure, the tannins have slightly more grip than they have in the Magari, um, but this is made for longer term aging. It will delight you right now, but if you can hold on for a year or two or even longer, 
every subsequent bottle you have will, will bring more and more enjoyment. Um, I think both of these wines are extraordinary value. They're, di they're different price, price points with the Magari at £240 and the Kamakanda at £595. Um, but I've got one of each just because I think they're fantastic. And I know how much some of these other wines from, from this region cost. Thinking of names like Sasakai and Tignanella and Onalaya. So if you love Italian wines and you you know want to add some to your cellar without breaking the bank entirely, I think Magari and then um, Kamakanda are the way to go. They're fantastic. It's the first time we've offered it at Noble Rot. Um, the wines will be delivered to the UK in May of this year. Um, and if you want some, please get in touch with us. Cheers.